What sort of miracle is this? Hey there, fellas. So look, I've got me an ordinary wheel, and you might recall how we used to spin these up until they explode. Give those videos a watch if you haven't already. Now, aside from the size, you'll see some interesting letters and uh, numbers on the sidewall. The letter is obviously the speed rating, but the number denotes the load rating. And so let's see what sort of weight this here wheel can actually sustain. Let's do this. So look here, guys. We've set up this lovely carriage, I mean, how else? Well, we could have used a hydraulic press for the purpose, but that just wouldn't have made for an interesting enough picture. And so we've a makeshift trailer, a couple of 13-inch tires, and they have a load rating of 82 T. Well, the T denotes the speed that we don't really care about, but the 82 is the load rating. What that rating tells us is that one wheel should be able to bear 475 kilos. But since we have two of them, between the two of those wheels fitted to one axle, they can carry 950 kilos, so... So, let's go ahead and load exactly the amount of weight that is allowed with that sort of rating, which would be about one metric ton. We've come to visit our buddies at the scrapyard, they have a scale. Oh yeah, and here's something else that I'd like to mention. We actually want to hook a pressure gauge up to this wheel. The idea is, well, we feed two kilos into the wheel, then we load up the trailer, the weight is going to crush it, and we want to see whether the pressure inside the wheel is going to increase. I know that I definitely never tried to see whether that's the case or not. Anyway, if we see that the tire has been crushed a bit too much, we'll obviously put in some more air. I think we should look into pressure changes right away. I really want to know at what point we'll start to see an increase. And if you find this interesting, make sure to sub, so that you don't miss what experiments we have in store in the future. And those should be really interesting. Oh wow, the pressure has already... We've only loaded half of the... what, nothing on your side? I seem to have an increase, or am I seeing things? Anyway, that is 500 kilos. The wheels have been crushed slightly, but we're not quite there as our target was 950. Okay, let's load up another half a ton. Alright, so we've added another 435 kilos, or a total of 935. That's about as much as these two wheels together are rated to. Yeah, look at how it got crushed. The tires are definitely at their limit. That is very apparent. And so let's slightly overload them, I mean... When you look around, you sometimes notice how people drive around with their trailers full of... And it's not even just the trailers. Sometimes people overload their vehicles and yum. Obviously, you see overloaded trailers as well. So we've loaded in, I think we've gotten the weight up to about 1440 kilos, and the pressure has definitely increased slightly. The wheels look pretty severely crushed, and so here's what I suggest we do. Instead of just assessing them while they're stationary, let's go ahead and drive around with this payload on our trailer to see whether anything happens. While everything is on the move, and if nothing does, we'll load it up some more. Let's get to it. Okay, so far so good, but you can tell how they're compressing over the bumps. It is very noticeable. If we were to hit a really deep pothole, the actual rim might damage the tire. Cut right through it. Yeah, go for it. The tires seem to be holding up okay. That's reassuring. Though they're pretty overloaded. They're overstressed, but they are still holding up. And what do we tend to do when we want to load even more? That's right, we put more air into the tires. As we do worry about the rim cutting into the tire when going over a pothole. If that sort of thing were to happen, it would total the tire. And so here's what I think we should do. We jack up the trailer, 
bring the tire pressure up to three kilograms, put the trailer on the ground and load it up some more. Okay, so look here. I fed in 3.1 kilos, because, well, when you remove the manometer, you do lose a bit of air in the process. Pressure gauge has actually gone a bit haywire. Once it gets above 2, it gives you erroneous readings. Now it's actually showing us 4.2. The important thing is we know the actual pressure. Alright, so we brought the pressure up to 3.1 in this one as well. We certainly lost a bit of air while removing the fitting. Yeah, the pressure gauge is reading 3.5. Well, we know the margin of error, so let's bring it down and have a look. How much more do we want to load up? I do think this should handle a couple of tons with no real issues. And so let's grab another 500 kilos to bring the total up to 2 tons. Actually make that 600. Or 550? Anyway, time for some more load. So check this out, guys. We've weighed this stack. Turns out it weighs in at 960 kilos. We thought it'd be less. But Sergey over there as well as Cyril, they're all telling me that it doesn't really matter. That the overall weight is going to be a bit more than we initially thought. Okay, let's load the trailer and just see what happens. Let's put that on the trailer. All right, and uh, oh, holy cow! Isn't that something? Look at them crushed. And that is with three kilos of pressure in each of them. It's as if they're deflated. The rubber is wiggling around over the bumps. But then, with that sort of weight, yet everything is holding up, and that is very nice. But let's bring the pressure up to four kilos and uh, see how much they get crushed, and uh, whether they can even hold it together. I think they should, until we start driving. Another ton, which would make for a total of 3400. They have held up, that's nice. That would be a payload of 3,400 kilos, and the tire pressure is at 5 kilos. But now we've decided to go all the way to 8, like in a truck, and add another ton of payload. The load is now at approximately 4,200 kilos. So the total payload is now at 4,000... 2,035 kilos? That is quite an impressive result. But now it's time to go for a drive, to see how the tires behave. We are super curious, as the tire pressures are now at 8 kilograms. Yeah, this seems a bit sketchy. It's cool to see the tires have that extra durability built in. After we severely overloaded them, they are still intact. Also, they definitely weren't designed for that sort of pressure, I mean... 8 kilos? That is quite a lot for a passenger car tire. And then the payload is 4 tons, each of the wheels is having to bear 2 tons, and it's all good. Let's increase the load. We're... We're not going too far, are we? We good. Let's call this a ton. Yeah, and that'll give us a total of how much? 5,235? That is incredible. What's the wheel situation? Holy cow. Five tons and they're holding up? We've decided to move this forward slightly and bring the total up to six tons. Six tons, my oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's... Come on. Here's the... Here's the thing. When we pushed down on this, it didn't feel like we even needed to add all that much to get this even. This brings the total to six tons. And let's see... From where I'm standing, I can hear... I think the wheel bearings are making some noise. And you know what other interesting thing I noticed? 
I have a feeling that the wheel itself, where it's bolted to the hub, is driving over the bumps, and I get the impression that the rim is starting to deform. But the tires are keeping it together, holy cow! Okay, so we've decided to up the ante. Here we have another 563 kilos, which brings the total up to 6800. Holy cow, that is a lot of weight. Go film the wheel! Is that recording? Okay, so the total payload on the trailer is at 6800 kilos. Now, initially, the total weight was at the 3400 kilo mark. But as it currently sits, that is 3400 kilograms per wheel. Given the tire pressure and the overall load, I mean, we've exceeded the maximum load rating by many times at this point. And I just do not get it. 6800 kilograms, two 13 inch tires for a lot of them. And everything's holding up. Now we're going to use some really heavy objects. Holy! 7.5 tons! What sort of miracle is this? They are under tremendous pressure right now. 8 kilos of pressure inside each tire, 7.5 tons of weight applied to them, from the outside perimeter, I guess. Right, we broke the hitch. Okay, so this is pretty embarrassing. Something has failed somewhere. But then seven and a half tons is a lot. Our counterweight leaned forward, it fell over and smashed our rig. So yeah, there was a weak point somewhere. And there is no way for us to continue the driving portion of this experiment. That is unfortunate. But we are not giving up just yet. We will now lift and prop this up, and uh, continue loading it while it's stationary. Because we still want to find out how much weight these tires can take, even if they are going to be standing in place. And so let's carry on. So that is another 2100 kilos. For real? How are they withstanding such enormous load? This is going very well indeed. Another 780 kilos and change. And we are at around 11 and a half tons. How does this even work? Even with the excess tire pressure, they have been crushed really hard, but they're still holding up. It's all falling apart. So we have decided to change our strategy. Because you would have seen us making that huge stack weighing over 12 tons. Anyway, we're going to be putting this bed onto our trailer, placing all of the pieces inside. Also, the bed itself has some weight to it. And so we're going to see how much this is able to withstand. And we'll continue loading stuff from there. That's a wrap. We're done? Boom! Holy cow. 
Yes or what? The important thing is it went kablamo. What was the weight, like 14.6? I think it's down to the whole thing leaning over. Yeah, you might be right. Also because it got rocked. It's the same as if we were driving. I guess you're right. Oh wow, the wheel is really bent, holy cow. And the curious thing here is... The wheel is bent up. Can you imagine the pressure that was in there? Yeah, this was under so much stress. 8 kilos of pressure per wheel and 14,600 kilos in the bed. The whole thing was starting to topple, the tire gave up and uh, yeah. That's like 7 plus tons per tire. Now, somebody is definitely going to mention the prop we got in there, but even 6 tons per tire, when they're rated up to 475 kilos, that is quite a lot of extra durability. Granted, the trailer was standing in place, but the fact that the tires were able to bear that sort of load... Anyway, we're not gonna just leave it at that. The other tire is still intact, we have 1.7 tons of scrap left, so let's drop it onto that side and see what happens. Just drop it, dude! It's freaking lifting off the ground as you're filming it. Okay, guys, well, uh, on this side the rim was deformed, the air escaped, and the tire is flat. Now, at the end of the day, this trailer wasn't moving, there wasn't any heat building up or anything, but 14,600 kilos is a testament to their durability. Okay, well, you saw it all, that's all I got for you, catch you guys later.